Hey, young people. Um, this is kind of an interesting case, and I can't find any stats that support what this guy's saying. Um, and I've looked it up at quite a bit, but this VT Digger seems like the only guy that's saying what the judge said. There's no documents. There's no news reports. There's nothing. Uh, so I'm calling BS on this part, but let's take a look at the video and see if the cop lied or did get what's called a coerce consent, or did he really get consent? The problem today is there's a crack rock right here. Let's move your leg. Yeah, right here. See that? That's what that is. That's a crack rock. Okay, so he finds a crack rock in the car. As far as I'm concerned, I don't understand why he didn't do this. That's a felony. They're both under arrest. You can search incident to arrest, and they can search a car. So, in my book, it doesn't matter whether he got consent or not. He would have found it through inevitable discovery, which is why I don't think the charges were dismissed. And I think they're, the judge was more pissed, if the article is true, at the DA than these guys. Well, let's finish watching this. How much more do you have in the car? That's it. That's it? Mm -hmm. So he's acknowledging he knows it's crack. That was a bad response, by the way. That's great for my prosecution. He's acknowledging that he knows it's crack, and he's acknowledging it was in a car, and he's saying it's the only thing in the car. So that statement, that just that acknowledgement kind of screwed him. Just one crack rock? That looks like that was one, too, right there. Eleven eighty-seven Middlesex. Do you have an ID on you, sir? Eighty-five on. License or anything? No. So he says he's got no ID, no license. I don't know why cops, when they see bad guys with phones, why they're not saying. Well, you got a phone. Let me look in your contacts and see if your name's in there, if you don't know your name. Uh, so, obviously he's lying. We can't seize the phone. But if a guy's got a phone, look, dude, I can. what's your phone number? What's the phone number of the cell you're having? If he tells me, then I can have dispatch do what's called a reverse number check. And they keep a list of all that, and it'll come back on who owns that phone. But uh, that's not really the case here. He's looking around like he doesn't have ID. Then he finds it in a bag. The bag is important because that's where they find all the other dope later. Nothing at all? Gotta have something. And again, to me, this is all a moot point because he's already found evidence of a felony in the car. They're both in the car. They're both under arrest for a felony drug possession, unless one of them says, it's mine, it's not his. But they're still under arrest, and you can still search car incident to arrest. So, I don't even know why they're arguing whether or not there's consent. Great, thanks. <coughs> So, the way this works in Vermont when I have probable cause to search a motor vehicle, okay, is you can allow a search now, or you can require that I seize the vehicle in the entirety of its... I don't know if Vermont works under different laws. If you have probable cause to arrest them for a felony, you don't need consent to search. What am I missing here? If there's some cop in Vermont that tells me I'm missing something, let me know what it is. Contents, which means literally... Everything in the car, like absolutely everything, including you guys. Um, so you can allow me to search the vehicle and its contents here at roadside, or you can require that I seize everything and apply for a search warrant. From a okay, is this cop coercing not giving you? I've seen cops say, look, either you let me search or I'm going to go get a warrant. If I go get a warrant, I'm going to lock your house down and you're going to be detained. The cop didn't say it like that. So is what he's saying coercive, or is it the truth? I think he's telling them the truth. He will get a warrant, and they will tow the car, and they're going to search it anyway. 
But again, I'm not sure why he even a warrant is an issue. You don't need a warrant incident to arrest, and it's a car, and you've already found evidence of a felony in the car. I, I don't I don't understand why he's going for this consent at all. My judge, and the choice is yours. But uh, those are your two options here this evening. Now that I saw that crack and have it here. I mean, just from your reaction, I've done this for 28 years, and just from re your reaction, I already know there's more in the car. I mean, it's pretty much a, a known fact to me at this point. Now, the courts would say that's a hunch. Well, but hunches can be articulable suspicion if you explain it right. Uh, he's going by the reaction. They're smoking. They're not looking at him. They don't want to give consent. They've already admitted they have crank in the car. They lied and said there wasn't crank. I believe there is more crank, crack, whatever it is in there. I think they have crack and heroin. Uh, it's just what quantity and, and where it is in the car, which, uh, you know. It, but the choice is yours. I mean, I'm not going to tell you which one to choose. To me, that's not coercive. The cop is giving them an option. Again, I don't know why, but he is giving them an option. It would probably take us somewhere in the vicinity of 20 to 30 minutes to search both of you and the entirety of the car here. Now he keeps mentioning both of them and the entirety of the car. And I think one of them asked, how long will it take? See, you don't really hear what they said. And that's why the judge dismissed this. Because she couldn't hear them say, go ahead and search. But I don't think these cops lied on this one. I mean, this cop's got a great case. It doesn't matter at roadside um, or if you require that I seize the vehicle and apply for a warrant from a judge then it's probably not going to be till tomorrow or even sometime over the weekend whenever a judge uh, decides to take a look at it the warrant but again it's totally up to you And I don't know if this is a woman or a guy. I can't tell. Somebody's going to probably come here. That was a girl. I, I don't know. I'm just saying, look, these two people are giving off indicators that, dude, if we let them search the car, they're going to find it. If we don't let them, they're going to go get a warrant. Maybe they're stupid and they'll miss it. Maybe they won't search the backpack and find it. I think they gave consent. How much more do you have in the car? I mean, there's obviously more in the car. Obviously, they didn't say no. So, is that an admission? It's not an admission, but it's definitely, from my experience as a cop, when they don't answer, that's because they don't want to tell you the truth. So, instead of lying, they don't answer. Sure, so. Because if there wasn't more in the car, then the answer... Right off your lips would have been sure go ahead and search it there's nothing else in the car and that wasn't what just happened so I now he's making an assumption and i agree with his assumption but i'm not sure he can use that has probable cause or articulable suspicion because a lot of guilty people won't give consent and a lot of innocent people won't give consent but when you already find crack in a car and now they're hesitating and they have to look for their ID and they don't want to look at you and they're getting more nervous and they're smoking and they're licking their lips and you see their heart rate going up and you see their pulse on their neck. All those things articulated is reasonable to me. Why is it reasonable? Because when I see all those, 99% of the time, I find more dope. No, there's more in the car as a police officer with almost 30 years experience, so... That's probably older than both of you, huh? You guys aren't 30 years old yet, I would assume. This cop is being extremely cooperative and nice and kind. He's already got him in felony possession of drugs. And, I mean, he's he's being a pretty nice cop, I think. I've done this for a living, you know, drug work, so...
when I get somebody pausing this long, I usually just will put a time limit on it and go, okay, guy, last time, I'm going to ask you, and if you don't answer me yes or no, I have to, by law, take that as a no, and I'll, I'll tow the car and I'll go get a warrant. But I need an answer. And that some way will force, they'll either say no or they'll say go ahead. And I don't think that's coercive. That's just like, I can't stand on the side of the road for 45 minutes while you're hemming and hawing. I'm just not going to do that. Rig your bootleg cut whatever, jackhammer boot. What's that? You want me to search the vehicle and its contents? Get it over with? Yeah. Okay. I thought I heard her say yeah. I couldn't hear it, but if you read her lips, it looks like she says yes. And her actions and her voice and her behavior does not any way indicate that she's saying, no, I don't want you to search. So I think the consent is fine. I don't know why this judge threw it out. Tense. Get it over with. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep, why don't you step, yeah, where's your sweatshirt? That's consent. I have no problem with this. They're saying the charges were dismissed by the judge, and I'll, I'll show you the article. Here we go. That's, a, that's an ounce, you say, huh? Yep. Oh, here we go, bud. There it is. That's 95, everybody. See, what he first found was an ounce of weed. Wasn't a whole bunch to get excited about. Not a big deal. You found more joke. It's freaking weed. Who cares? Uh, maybe in this place they care about weed, but most people be like, an ounce of weed? Shit, I'm not going to waste time on paperwork on that shit. I'm just going to dump it on the ground, spread it around my foot, watch you cry that you lost your weed, nobody goes to jail, and I'm going to kick you on your way. Rig, you can't do that. That just me. They paid for that. Whatever. Okay, everybody with their hands behind their back. Put your hands behind your back. Did he show the crime? Oh, here we go, bud. There it is. That's 95, everybody. Okay, everybody with their hands behind their back. Okay, so they found a pretty substantial amount of either crack or crank or heroin, and that's why everybody's getting in custody. I think they show it here in a second. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, well, this is what I found. Hopefully the camera can see it. It's a bunch of crack in here. Nice bunch of crack. It's a good... That's a pretty good little hook. A good grab right there. That's, I would say that's an ounce of weed. Who cares? Because you got to book the crank, you got to book the weed too. So, unfortunately, that's why the weed came in. It'll just be bargaining power for the DA to say, you're facing more time. If you plead guilty to everything, I'll give you six months in jail. And I'll get a conviction and nobody will care. Because that's kind of what they do. gentleman from Massachusetts. Back. Okay, so because the dope came out of the bag with the guy that reached in and got his ID out of the bag, it's going to be pretty easy to charge this guy with the dope. He was in possession of the bag, he pulled an ID out of the bag, and the dope was found in the bag. Now he'll say it wasn't his and the driver put it in there, but I don't think that's going to fly. But that's what he'll try. Bag. I don't remember his name again. He told me once, but I don't remember. So he says they both gave consent. Uh, I'm not sure that he's lying here. It was just kind of like, look, man, I asked him and they said, yeah, they both voluntarily got out of the car and went over there and stood. They weren't handcuffed when they were standing outside. They weren't forced out of the car. They weren't objecting, saying, hey, why are you searching my car? I did, I did not give consent. I do not consent to it. They weren't doing any of that. She said yes when he asked and they got out. I don't even know how the judge can rule. But again, we're taking the word of this P. Diddy, B. T. Digger, whatever his name is, uh, and I'll show you what he wrote. But let me let, let me hear the big lie that they're trying to make this cop lying. They both gave permission to search the entirety of the vehicle, their persons, and the contents. So yes, because they both gave permission, we don't have to ask them individually uh, about each bag. 
I didn't think you have to ask any bag. If it's in the car and you're towing a car or you're arresting them, the car's searchable. I mean, it's searchable for either an inventory tow or incident to arrest. I mean, I don't understand this. Let's like take a look at what he put the judge said. So according to this website here, which seems uh, suspicious at best because every source that I find, it links back to here. I have not found one independent source that isn't this page. So here's what he's saying the judge has said, and I don't know if I buy it, but I do buy part of what he says. So a judge cleared away for mass tax man to be back out of his plea deal. He took a plea deal and have drug charges that admitted thrown out after he alleged the investigative officer lied in a sworn statement. I don't think the cop lied, but the judge's ruling did not outright say the investigative officer told a falsehood, but he did say that he saw nor heard evidence in the body cam footage that he obtained consent to search the vehicle. I don't know how the judge, and this is a female judge, by the way, Mary. Uh, I don't know how she said she didn't hear it. I saw it. I saw the video. Judge Mary, probably quota, uh, issued her 10-page ruling. His attorney argued the prosecutor did not object to the assertion that the investigating officer uh, then a sergeant with the department lied in a sworn affidavit. I, I don't think he lied. Of these facts, the judge wrote no ruling. Again, this is all this guy's saying what she wrote. There's no supporting documentation and there's no court documents. The judge wrote, to allow the defendant's conviction to stand would serve to undermine the public confidence. Really? We want to talk about undermining the public confidence? Who has public confidence in a criminal justice system? Anybody? Raise your hand. If your hand's up, you're an idiot in the criminal justice system and threaten the integrity of the pro integrity I've done nothing but do videos that show there is no integrity in the damn system Washington County attorney Roy uh let's see Rory maybe whose office prosecuted Wednesday he would stand by his earlier pledge to dismiss the charges against if the judge allowed him to withdraw his pleas so Again, I haven't read the document, but it, in order for a, a, a DA to refile, if he wants to throw out the plea, he has to dismiss his charges, and then the plea deal goes away. That doesn't mean he can't refile uh, and then not take a plea. And here's where I think the DA kind of messed around and kind of forced the plea. The guy was in jail and said, if you plead everything, I'll let you go now. But if you fight whether or not you gave consent, then you're going to stay in jail. So I think the DA is the one that should be charged, if any of this is true. Let's see. Has since become uh, the chief. Uh, he contends that he did obtain consent, and he concedes that the auto recording of the body cam did not pick it up. I thought it picked it up. That He said yes. And it also picked it up that they weren't objecting and said no. Uh, the body cam footage went in any evidence but was not played in court, nor was nor was he called to witness on the stand. And again, if you have conflicting data, this guy should have been, the prosecutor should have put this guy on the stand and said, did you give consent or didn't you? And then if he lies on the stand and then you can prove it, then you charge him with perjury. But he didn't even call the guy to the stand, which sounds like an incompetent, lazy prosecutor. Anyway, in a ruling last night, she didn't hear or see the consent. At no time did Officer whatever, direct or ask the defendant for consent to search. What? Of course he did. His persons or his property consistent with the representations of the parties. She wrote in a ruling, defendant is not observed on the video through words or action or gestures to ever convey his agreement to search. Well, I could also write the defendant is not observed on the video either through words, actions, or gestures to ever object to the consent, withdraw consent, or demand that the search is stopped. Why can't I say that? Of course it's freaking some left-wing Mary judge who up there... Let's see, attorneys went up, particularly surprised by the judge's ruling. No kidding, the attorney said. Given that his client has never been called to the stand, uh, I can certainly understand the attorney did not want to call his client. He's somewhat baffled. Uh why the state wasn't interested in a full vetting of the facts. Uh, had this happened, explain, despite that, we never contested the audio because it failed to pick it up. These actions did not happen on a Hollywood stage sound. So they're saying, hey, you know, it's not like we can pick up everything. So you're, you're putting the 
two crooks in a car that are possessing felony amounts of drugs, you're putting their credibility against the officer who's got 30 years on the force or 29, 28 years, whatever, against his credibility and a video that absolutely does not show clearly one way or the other, but I think it leads much more that they did give consent, in my opinion. Uh, I'm number stopped. Let's see. Unfortunately, the roughly 45 minutes of video was admitted any evidence. Uh, seeing the crack cocaine near the leg of the inside of the car. Passenger seat, backpack, floor. 26-year-old Massachusetts was arrested. Said during his search, he raised a number of issues. Discrepancy discovered at the hearing. Wrote a sworn affidavit filed in the case that he obtained consent to search. I'd have probably, looking at his video, I'd have wrote, it, wrote that he obtained consent. Uh, the judge last month hearing, by pleading guilty, the defense attorney, his client could receive time served. See, this is where I think the, the DA kind of screwed and kind of forced this plea deal because he had a weak case. So he just wanted to get a conviction. Told the judge the last hearing was faced with a choice. By pleading guilty, the defense attorney said his client could receive time served and be released. So they get you in jail, they hold you in jail, and they go, if you plead guilty, we'll let you out of jail. That's BS. That's coercive. That's unethical. But that's done by the DA. Cops don't do that. If he consented to the legality of the search through further litigation, Espinado faced remaining in jail for lack of bail. So if he contested the search, he stayed in jail. If he pled guilty, he got out. That's BS. I don't think government ought to even be able to make things like that. Because to me, that's a coercive plea. Uh, however, having more time to review the footage, the prosecutor not obtained, uh, allowing his client to withdraw. Espinado then pleaded to felony heroin and cocaine charges, as well as a misdemeanor count of marijuana position. He was sentenced to 179 days. That's the amount of time he has served. So the DA went, look, you've been in jail for 179 days. You want to spend 179 days jail and fight this consent? Or you want to plead guilty and I'll let you out with time served? So the guy pled guilty. So I would agree that pulling his plea deal. I don't agree that the charges ought to be dropped. But, hey, everybody can read it themselves. Uh, that's my take on it. We'll end that there. Argued out in the comments.